It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video. In today's video, we're breaking down the intense ending of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, Season 1, Episode 2. This episode isn't just a game changer, it's setting up the whole season. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down and make some predictions about how the rest of the season might go. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. Okay, so of course, the big scene that's shared in the first two episodes is this. Michonne totally ambushes the CRM helicopter with Nat's help. Little does she know, Rick's on board. Talk about a plot twist. First up, Okafor bites the dust. Turns out, it wasn't a dud followed by a bunch of CRM soldiers, courtesy of Nat's missile. Michonne's on a warpath, taking out survivors with her katana. This is all about payback for what CRM did to her crew, including Bailey and Aiden, who were victims of a chlorine gas attack by the CRM. But hold up, the biggest moment, Michonne's about to kill another soldier, and boom, she discovers it's Rick under the helmet. The reunion's epic, but also super intense. More CRM is on their way thanks to Rick's backup call. Rick's quick to clarify he's not with the CRM, but things go south fast when a surviving CRM soldier shoots Nat. Another devastating blow for Michonne. Another reason to kill whoever is running CRM. Rick's advice to Michonne is gold. Don't be a leader. Don't be strong. Don't be an A. Be a B. He knows the deal with CRM and their A's. Before Nat's last breath, he leaves us hanging with some deep questions about Rick. He asks how she knows it's the same old Rick, considering he's with the crew that murdered his friends. After Nat is gone, Rick is quick to cover up what happened by leaving Michonne's katana in Nat's hand to put the blame on him, taking the heat off of Michonne. Or at least, that's what he was hoping for. CRM backup gets there. Rick takes Michonne in and the pretend game is on. Cut to Michonne inside CRM, nailing her interview by cosplaying as Carol, pretending like when she first got to Alexandria. Classic. In a secret chat, she and Rick discuss taking down CRM. Rick's hesitant. Knowing CRM's army and their power, they are the most powerful military on the planet after all. Again, Rick reassures Michonne she is not involved in what the Red Striped Soldiers do and their murderous spree. Michonne might buy it, but we're left questioning Rick's involvement with CRM, especially with his vague letters to Michonne saying he can't tell her everything that happened and that montage of him building a CRM base from scratch. He must have had to get his feet wet to retain power. Michonne finally realizes that Rick is right after she goes to the rooftop and sees the scope of CRM's army. Michonne is officially on the path to go through a six-year orientation to become a Civic Republic citizen. She's not messing around. She's out there slaying walkers, ripping their heads off like there's no tomorrow. I mean, she's literally on the other side of the wall, because the wall just slows her down. She definitely didn't get the memo and never let Rick's warning sink in. She's acting like an A. Her decisions are raising suspicions, and that's a headache for Rick to deal with. Now the big question, why didn't Rick just leave with Michonne? Of course, Okafor discovered his letters and Michonne's sketch, knew her name, and made it clear he would find her if Rick did anything. Even though Okafor told Rick he's trying to change the CRM from the inside for the good, he wasn't keen on risking his position at this stage for anything. But Okafor is no longer a threat. He's dead now. But Rick's worried about who else might know about Michonne. Okafor did say he would have to clean his mess and permanently erase Rick, Michonne, and everything that connects anyone to CRM. And if Okafor told anyone, they would have to do the same. Plus, Rick has a Jadis problem. She's public enemy number one. Sure, she and Rick had a deal to keep their secrets and not reveal their entire history, but she's warrant officer of CRM now, after all. 
so she may just throw that away and do what she does best. She's just getting started. She did say she started an investigation, so things are bound to get messy for Rick. Like Okafor, Jadis is probably going to be forced to clean up her mess and permanently erase Rick. But of course, we all know she'll get permanently erased soon enough. But for now, she is a threat. She's not only onto Michonne's presence, but knows exactly where Rick is from. She threatened everyone Rick cares about back at Alexandria. And with Pearl Thorne rising in the CRM ranks, getting her red-striped uniform, questioning Michonne's connections to Rick, tensions are running high. There's a twist, though. Jadis and Pearl Thorne might be in cahoots. Jadis may have hired her to cause Rick some headache. So maybe he sends Michonne away for good. Now Rick's main plan may be to escape without tracing anyone back to Alexandria. But with the way things are shaping up, his growing power and Okafor's dream of a better CRM, he might be intrigued to go back to his old ways. And with Michonne's help, cause havoc for the CRM and take over. And let's not forget the brewing unrest within CR. We've seen teases of Civic Republic residents orchestrating protests, asking for more transparency from CRM. Could Rick and Michonne be planning to leverage this to spark a rebellion? So what's next for our duo? They're torn between fleeing and possibly starting an uprising from within. It's a tough call, but one thing's for sure, we're in for a wild ride. That wraps up today's breakdown of the ending of the episode and my prediction for how the rest of the season is going to go. What do you think Rick and Michonne will do next? Will they try to take down CRM or will they escape? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe for more Walking Dead updates and press the bell to get upload notifications. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.